Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you here on Friday, the European Open. Been up for a while, just checking things out as we're moving a bit more risk off here. Um, looks like we're going to have a bit of a risk off Friday here. Got this sterling yen chart up. This thing looks like she wants to head south. Be interesting if we get sort of a print here at 15, which is where we are now, and some sort of bounce. Um, of course, short yen crosses look looks okay. We're sh we're short kiwi yen now. Um, talked about that on Twitter a bit. Kiwi dollar is kind of slipping through 6106. You can see this on the dailies now. These highs just proved too tough. Kiwi Yen yesterday also. Took a shot at that 66.20 break. Very, very meager 25 print. Then bang, lower. Now lower, lower lows on the dailies. Plus uh, on your 240s you see it it bearish engulfed from the highs. So it prints 25, closes at 75. See you later, Sammy. Shit looks like it's going lower. One of the interesting uh, charts out here is gold. Um, I don't know what to do with it. You know, we want to be long. I'm trying to time this. Trying to look for a good place to get long. Every day we think about buying low ones, but buying low ones in gold is tricky, right? Because gold tends to skip, and I would argue that the market is still it's just broken. There's just no liquidity on the on the gold futures. Um. So are we going to take a look below sixteen seventy six? Yeah, maybe. Um. Just watching gold now. Tactically, we're watching it, trying to trying to see what to do. One thing we do know is we'll be buying above these highs. Um, so above 1776, we think that's going to be a bingo point, and that's going to something huge is happening if that happens. Maybe the Fed balance sheet gets over 10 trillion. Who knows? But right now it looks pretty weak. Um, we're just watching. Maybe going to fish for some low ones. Dollar max turning slowly. All of EM extended way too far yesterday uh, as far as we're concerned. Dollar Rand especially. They cut 50. The sucker went down to 17.50. Ouch. We still have some core long, some small stuff. Um, we're pretty comfortable holding. Uh, not at the best price, to be fair, but it's basically just sort of core, kind of risk off. We'll have to see if this makes a new daily low today. Be, I'd be surprised if it does, especially with stocks um, down here at 29.20. You can see we've made a new daily low. Took one last hack. That 29.75, no dice, Donnie. 29.08 is important. Uh, I could easily see this thing um, slip left last hour today. So I think it's a tradable short uh, in the future session here, in the Globex session. And then um, we put on more of a core short um, for the cash session. But you need to give yourself a little bit of room, a little bit of freedom. There's no reason this can't get up to 45, 50, um, and can't. You know, there's no reason it trades that doesn't trade down to 2,900. You just want to try and be core short and get yourself into a good average um, heading into the cash session. That's the plan for today here. Aussie, uh, as you can imagine, also same chart as Kiwi is turned. Um, Dollar CAD. 
What a pain in the ass. We really thought that 138.50 was going to go there a couple days ago. Now here we are, 140. Uh, crude got slammed. This is in the middle of nowhere. Not sure what to do with Dollar Cat. Crude. Just kind of annoying. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, looks so easy on the chart, right? Just ooh, just smash them at 34, scoop them back up at 31, 10 percent. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. No idea what's going on in crude. I mean, obviously a little bit of risk off. So crew drops 10%. I mean, no idea. Bitcoin also getting smashed a bit. You want to just keep buying low ones here. I mean, it's the same old story. This thing will do what it does. It's like a funny animal. Um, you want to treat it like a tech stock. You want to own it like an asset. It's kind of like owning Tesla. You're going to have to wear a lot of all. There's going to be a lot of hysteria, both sides. Um, but, uh, you know, it makes sense to probably chuck in an 85.50 bid, 75.50 bid in, um, in Bitcoin. Euro, middle of nowhere. We took a peak yesterday. The 200-day was at 110.13. Couldn't clear it. At least now we know on the top side that's kind of the important point. This was 110.18. Uh, the 200 is 110.13. We had an 08 high. Um, so if we're going to get a breakout in Euro dollar, let's call it 110.20. But right now it looks like we're heading back into the range. Um, nothing to do with Euro dollar. We're short a little Euro Swiss just because we think this is going to slip back down and eventually this is going to get through 78 and, and have a look at the uh, sort of line in the sand again at 105.10. Um, if you're risk off and if Euro dollar is going left, Euro Swiss usually should follow. So of course short Euro Swiss today uh, in the tactical book seems interesting. You can imagine what CAD Yen looks like but you're right back into the middle of range. So if you're not already short CAD yen, don't chase this. Dollar yen doing nothing. BOJ did nothing. The big point in dollar yen is 108.10. Nothing else really matters. Heading back into this range, I bet. I mean, you can draw these technical lines, but they really don't mean anything because nobody, nobody has risk on in dollar yen right now. Dollar yen is just broken. It's just um, not doing a lot, not doing a whole heck of a lot. Cross yen is a much more interesting play these days. Um, so, but we got we got no dog in that fight. And let's go finally to our old friend Euro Norway, which is squeezing up today, um, up to eleven. This is a good time to sort of reset and resell uh, Euro Norway. We're actually going to wait for 11.05 and then 11.15 um, <clears throat> to do a bit of a reset on Euro Norway. Um, obviously, with the crude price and a market that's just generally short, I'm uh, going to get a nice squeeze today. So look to resell Euro Norway. Most of you, and as well as us, we, we kind of squared in the low 90s. We were not playing in the mid 80s there, kind of naked watching it. Now, as it comes back up, be patient, right? This stuff always goes further than you think it's going to go. Um, 111.05, between 111.05 and 111.15, looks like a good, good safe uh, Euro Norway sell. All right, listen, uh, that's all we got. We're obviously core short. Kiwi yen, like we say, this is a tradable short. We're trying to get our average above 66. I think the average right now is around 82. You know, we'll buy in the 40s, try and resell in the high 50s. Um, core short Kiwi yen. We're watching this sterling yen downside. We did get that little print there at 15. 
pre-London Open. Selling that through 15 looks interesting. Selling cable also looks interesting. Are we going to get down through 121.85 today? Kind of looks like it, feels like it. Um, so we're watching Sterling Yen cable downside. And as far as specific positions, core short Kiwi Yen and Euro Swiss at the moment. Good luck out there, people. Have a good weekend. Also, yeah, like, I don't know, smash these buttons or click the likes or subscribe. I don't know. Don't forget to do that stupid stuff. Uh, you know, hundreds of people watch these videos every day, and I think there are like seven people who click these buttons. Especially if you're a young millennial fuck, you know what to do. Um, so do it. Have a good weekend, everyone. See ya.